So what are the main objectives of this course? So after you finish this course, I want you to be confident on the petrochemical industry. So for this, you will need to understand at least an overall overview of the industry. So what is meant by petrochemical? What are the raw materials? What are the intent of petrochemicals? Why do we use petrochemical plants and not only petroleum refining plants? I want you to learn a little bit more of the market, the production amounts, demands, producers, which country has the highest amounts or which one is importing the most. Then a little bit more on the sizes of the markets, plant layout, understand what is a this different type of unit, why do we use heating here and so on. Then we continue with the main concept of what are basic petrochemicals. So of course there are many petrochemicals, it will be almost impossible to show each one of them, but the important part right here is to understand the most important ones, the ones that you are likely to be encountering uh, in a petrochemical or maybe petroleum refining, or maybe if you are into fine chemistry, you will also need some petrochemicals. So I want you to understand what are the raw materials for petrochemicals, mainly naphtha. And then I want you to understand what are the intermediates. What are you going to be producing as an intermediate? What are final products? What are their uses, their applications, uh, either industrial applications or final end products? Then very important, the most important parts of the petrochemical industry, I would say, is steam, steam cracking and fluid catalytic cracking. Those are our main cracking processes. We're going to see more, but these are the most important ones. And then also, not only, I don't want you to only know about these petrochemicals. I want you to know about the production. What do you need to do? What are, do they use a reactor? Do they use distillation columns? Do they use flashings or so on? And then, this is not that explicit, but you're going to learn a lot of terminology used in the petrochemical industry. So hopefully you get to see all these objectives by the end of the course.